Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. I am your host, JT the Bigger Figure from San Francisco, California. Sending my love out to all the viewers, subscribers, black or white, Chinese or Mexican, it don't matter. This live is for the people, the black families in America who watch this channel. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I built water wells in Burkina Faso already. By learning that, I got to learn and see how important is water specifically for those who are gonna build a house, those who want farmland, and those who just who just got the land. You know, I don't know what everybody gonna do with their land, but your land will be sitting here waiting for you. All documentation and paperwork is through Mercy Advocate Lawyers. It's through Mercy Advocate Lawyers. It's through Mercy Advocate Lawyers. It's through Mercy Advocate Lawyers. I will post her number up there for people who are trying to get in contact. Cause I don't know. All I could do is go on Google and then I gotta be careful that I don't meet no scammers. You know they got people that put ads out and then you give them the deposit and they never show up. So you know the guy that we dealing with is somebody certified, you know, uh, and recommended. So, you know, that's the only reason why I'm stuck with him. Cause I don't want to call nobody on Google and they got pictures of, <laughs> on they uh on their website or on their Instagram. And I think I'm finna, I'm finna hire somebody for some work and then it's a scam artist, <laughs> this is a fake person. Welcome to Nairobi, Kenya. <laughs> well, you might, anybody you meet, they might tell you one thing, but it might be something different. So you got to be extra cautious when spending your money. They got people who got billboards to buy land out here and it's fake. They got people with fake billboards, fake websites, fake everything. And you you know, it look good. You doing due diligence, you doing, you know, background checking, phone call checking, internet checking. Hey, it look like this is legit. Come to find out the whole thing is a scam. You know what I mean? Now this ain't no joke. Yeah, shout out to my baby. Yeah, we're gonna be together in a few days, God willing, a couple more days. Shout out to my baby, man, she done it. Shout out to my baby, man, she done it. Shout out to my baby, man, she done it. Shout out to Tisha Boo, shout out to Tisha Boo. Register a real company, and then it, it's a front company, and then the real criminals is back here, but they got this person running it, but everything is criminal orientated. The whole plan is to get as many deposits as possible and then shut it down. How, how far down does the, the earth go? Well, let's do some math according to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan with the teacher, Master Parah Muhammad. Uh, the earth is 196,940,000 square miles. It's 196,940,000 square miles. It's 196,940,000 square miles. It's 196,940,000 square miles. It's 196,940,000 square miles. The land on the earth is 57,255,000 square miles. 57,255,000 square miles. 57,255,000 square miles. 57,255,000 square miles. What? 57,255,000 square miles of this earth. Okay. Is land. 139,685,000 square miles is water. 139,685,000 square miles is water. 139,685,000 square miles is water. So the total land in water is 196,940,000 square miles. 196,940,000 square miles. 196,940,000 square miles. 196,940,000 square miles. Now you could do the math. Shout out to my teacher Farrakhan. He taught us all about the earth, the universe, 
how fast is light, how, how fast does sound travel. Everybody's heart is just so hard and tough. You know, my heart had to get softened up. I came to Africa. That's the only way I turned back into a regular person. I guarantee you. I, I guarantee you. I, I, I was one of the ones that needed to be, you need to go away for a while. <laughs> That's me. Hey, you, you, you going to be around some regular people, bro. Because you, can, you, you, you got something in you. I see something in me good for my people. But the reality is, if I'm in the wrong environment, I ain't good for my people. If I'm in the right environment, oh, I'm great for the people. <laughs> Put me back in the wrong environment. Uh, you're not gonna make it, buddy. And and you're gonna and you're gonna hurt somebody, bro. Because there's so much anger between people like you. Y'all all angry with each other, and y'all all looking to see what's gonna happen and who's gonna bother me and who step on my shoe and who. So therefore, you kind of gotta be like that. Everybody I know, they like that. Yeah, nigga, shit. That's all I'ma say. Wait to get back home. Where's home, man? Africa. I ain't even finished going to the rest of the countries yet, man. I only I've been here two years. I only been in two countries, man. I feel like I didn't. I don't know if I wasted time, did I hang out too much or what. But if I got to see 10 countries, do you know how many friends I would have? I would have at least three, four more hundred friends right now if I've been to 10 more. Because I got a bunch of friends here and a bunch of friends in Burkina. When I get there, I make friends with people. Okay, I make family. I like that too. Yeah, friends and family. You blessed if you have a friend. A friend don't want nothing for you. A friend just want the best for you. I'm gonna say that again. A friend don't don't want nothing from you. A friend just want the best. I'm liking my journey. I'm liking putting up, you know, all of this uh, older content. It's taking my memory back. Me walking on the land with the kids. I miss my people in Burkina, Burkina Faso, Burkina Bay. I miss y'all, man. But I'm happy that I got Cuz Cuddy there. Continuing it, so y'all keep supporting Cuz Cuddy. You know, he a good brother coming out of America, trying to make his way. Look like he's struggling right now. It's okay. Look like he's struggling right now. It's okay. Look like he's struggling right now. It's okay. Struggle is good. Struggle come with it, but you see progress happening. Long as you keep, long as you turn that camera on and see the progress, that's what I taught him. I say, bro, you can't be in Africa and you're not filming, bro. You don't know, this shit is history that we doing. Boy, we might be like the new Christopher Columbus in them. I promise you uh, one thing about me. I like that God made me with a certain type of head. Do it. Because I'm not in Africa to make money off y'all. That's the last thing I want on my reputation. That I'm over here, I'm, I'm asking for money. No, man, I don't even like donation people, man. That donation shit is like a scam because half the time they get the money, they don't ever bring it back to the people. Like, damn, boy, we just sent you a hundred thousand dollars. Where the where the progress? Uh, we still working on it. <laughs> nah, brother, it don't take that much. Let me show you how this thing done. They start saying I was a drug dealer. <laughs> they start talking about that nigga out there selling dope. He got to be selling dope. Yeah, y'all stay away from that place called. Panda, what is it called? Panda Express. Them cold Chinese people in the black community, man, I don't know what they chopping up seasoning. Them people called Panda Express, man. They are they not even fair, man. They might kill a dog or two. They might they they know how to season all the food and they don't care what kind of meat it is. They tell you what it is. If it look like beef, then it's beef. If they say if it's white meat, then that's a chicken. I'm just saying, now, now, they, now they, they broccoli is probably good for you. The broccoli, maybe some chow mein. It's okay, the chow mein, the broccoli. Yeah, I, I'll eat that. The little vegetable little thing they got. I, okay, I still, I'll mess with that. The, the noodles. But okay, I can do that. I don't think they're making fake noodles yet. Hopefully they ain't. Oh, it's GMO. God. Now they talking about <laughs> GMO. So Panda Express only serving GMO, huh? <laughs> hey man, listen.
boy, listen. Girl, listen. <clears throat> Shout out to all my other 47-year-olds. Hey, I hope you ain't turning into an old person. Because that would be pretty bad. Did you did you live your life yet? Then you 47, you, you ain't finished. Well, man, you better keep going. There's some folks 60 right now racing cars and shit. Have you seen that 60 year old lady that's racing cars on, on CNN? I promise y'all, I'm gonna put up some of my other videos with my face. I, I tell y'all this all the time. What's wrong with you, Fig? Nothing. <laughs> I didn't even know nothing was wrong until I look at my face now. And I look at my old videos like. Is that me? That's you, my G. No wonder my wife said, you getting the hell out of here. You going to Africa. Shout out to my wife, made me come. Baby, you just had a new baby. We should, I need to stay and be with you. No, you need to go to Africa. <laughs> you need to get your, you need to get up out of here. She said it without saying it. I said, you don't want me just to stay for like 30 more days? No, I don't want you to stay for 30 more days. You take your ass to Africa. That way you go. We'll meet you there. Don't meet me. Nah, don't meet me. Nah, we gonna meet you. Shout out to wifey, man. I can't wait to see you, baby. Mwah! And my baby. I've been a strong man out here for six long months. Woo! Have you ever been to jail before? Have you ever did six months in jail? Well, I did a year in jail before. It wasn't nice. I was a kid, though. But as a grown man, six months without your wife, boy, what is you doing out there, boy? I'm doing right what I'm supposed to be, right at this house with these kids. <laughs> Y'all ain't saw one video clip of me at the club partying. Why? Because I want to be strong. If I go to them damn parties and shit, it ain't going to be there. It ain't going to be good. These girls out here got butts like this. African real butt that just born with it. Hi! Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> you better keep going. <laughs> keep going, black man. <laughs> you keep walking that way. Keep going that way. Yeah, and shout out to all the men who doing the same thing. It's possible. Some of us, yeah, when we animals, we don't care. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, I ain't tripping on that, man. That wasn't no club. She didn't stand a chance. I love my wife. That's mine. Them girls ain't mine. They belong to the streets. Let them in the streets have each other. That is the way to win. I want good luck. Good luck, man. Stay strong, black man. Nah, that's it. This was a big test for me. Oh, shit, man. All this time. But it wasn't that hard because I already been practicing in Burkina Faso. Championship rings. Yeah, y'all want good luck. So, in a few days, I will be advocating for people who send what you can. I don't care if everybody send a dollar. I'm, I'm going to show you what we're doing with it. Because this is the time right now. I see in, in Nairobi, the most important thing you can do now, B, is complete these two water wells. Not how many songs I can make, how many movies I can make, how many videos I can make. Nothing else more important of why God got you here is for them people right there in uh, McQueen County. With all the other... The Kenyan people, they laugh. Oh, you bought land down there? Ha, ha, ha. That shit ain't nothing. You need to come to Nakuru. It's more greener. It's prettier. Man, I, I, they didn't call me there. They called me to come there. But that's what God must want me to go. To the place where it looked like it ain't nothing good going to happen. Well, keep watching. Bikina. I didn't go to Bikina and have all that money. I made that money while I was there, then I bought the land, then I paid for the water wells. You see how God worked? I got the money once I got here. And it didn't come from donations. It came from my catalog. I say, look at this. The catalog money start picking up tremendously. <laughs> 
Shout out to all my old records that pay me to this day. I'm so glad that I worked my ass off. It's like I'm retired already, man. I be chilling out here and shit, overlooking this view, and be like, man. But I, I ain't retired though. <laughs> so don't nobody say, you know, JT retired now. No, he ain't. You know what I mean? Somebody said they're on their way to court. I pray that your court case go well, sir. I pray that you make it through your situation, man, and that they have some leniency on you. So you can stay out here with your with your family and make a way for you. You what's going on right now? And I heard in Seattle that they making cocaine and heroin. Not you don't go to jail for smoking crack no more or something. They said something about it in Seattle. They took away all the laws of, of drugs, and now you can snort cocaine in public. <sighs> you can shoot a little heroin. And you don't go to jail for it. What type of crime rate do they got out there right now if cocaine is is legal now? <laughs> what type of <laughs> what type? Nah, if you Google it right now, Seattle, you don't go to jail if you get caught for using it. Now I think you go to jail for selling it. But if you get caught with like some cocaine that you know, hey officer, this is my little snorting pack. This is my, you know, this is my weed, this is my cocaine, these are my pills. I need some pills. Oh, Miami got dispensaries now. So I still got all my favorite shoes. See, you thought I had on new shoes by now, huh? Nope, not this guy. Look, there they go. I still. Shout out to Patricia, keep going. But God blesses. I see y'all in a few minutes on the next live. Peace.